overflows samadhi day lala ji born on 2nd of february 1873 lala ji entered into maha samadhi on 14th of august 1931 once in a millennium it so happens that someone reaches to such a horizon that no praise or word can ever encompass his contribution contribution to humanity he is not praised because he is not worthy instead finite words fail to encompass his infinite contribution infinite light that continues to flow and will continue to flow ever long also there is no need to praise him either because the word praise is very insignificant no one ever says shakespeare was a good writer have you ever heard no one ever says that michael angelo was a great sculpturist no one ever says meera was a great devotee shakespeare michael angelo and meera are indeed epitome of praise and they are known for their contribution their contribution to the cause of humanity is so humongous that your finite words are incapable to explain that so to today we are to celebrate the contribution of a mystic nakshbandi sheikh as a the flower that has blossomed as the book that came from the existential library on 2nd of february 1873 and dissolve into existence fertilizing the soil for the birth of new flowers to come fertilizing the soil for the birth of new flowers to blossom on 14th of august 1931 this alone we have to look the light that has shown the flower that has blossomed its fragrance its beauty its lusher has not faded in any way instead it has grown to an infinite quantum and this process is continuing each moment and out of that the fertilization that happened to the soil for those his contemporary and those that are born afterwards and also those are yet to born to be guided by that fertilization of the soil the inner soil is 
is continuing. Normally, an individual is born unconscious, lives unconsciously, and dies unconsciously. Death happens in an unconscious manner. But rare are the individuals, rare are the ones who have entered into life totally aware and conscious and so too have entered back into the existence totally conscious. There are many but yet countable who have entered into existence totally aware and conscious. Lalaji was one of them. And he described the entire this process of dissolution, the drop merging into the ocean drop by drop to those who were present to witness this process of dissolution, this process of Maha Samadhi, dissolution of the light back into the existence. They were Raghavar Dayal, Jayadevi, Lalaji's concert, Bridge Mohan Lal, Jag Mohan Narayan, Shakuntala Devi, the concert of Bridge Mohan Lal, and Sheikh Hazrat Abdul Ghani Khan. They were all present in the room. Lalaji lay on the bed. And all of them were in a state of a meditative trance. The state cannot be put into the words. Existence has given me the opportunity, the realization of that moment through my inner vision. The moment when Lalaji, as he was, as his consciousness was dissolving into the infinite, moment to moment, and he continued to narrate. The life force, the Alan Vaithi, the Pranavayu, is receding. This we use as a meditation at times, saying that starting the energy moves from toes and then finally dissolves into the unknown oblivion through the higher center's forehead or the third eye center. This happens in those who are highly evolved. Otherwise, because in that person, in that being, the life force is free, the passage of the movement is clear. It can move from any center it can exit from any center. It is like you are aware of the entire geography of the house. You can enter through any door that you choose to enter and you can exit out of that building through any door that you choose to come out from. No emergency doors. Consciously, you are 
entering through this door and entering and exiting or entering into the existence through that door. He continued to explain that life force is receding from every moment, the big toes, all the toes, in a step, the calf, the knees, and as he explained, he said, now there is no life force flowing in the part below knees. And he continued taking those who were available, who were present there at that moment, to give them the taste how one should enter into existence totally aware, knowingly, and being totally conscious. And when he reached to the throat center, and he said, now the life force is receding from the throat center. It is this vocal cord. It is the center below which is the world of duality and beyond that is that of oneness. Thereafter there is no, there is third eye center and then the thousand petal. Below, after, once you cross that center, the throat center of Vishuddha Chakra, the voice disappears. You cannot explain, you cannot speak. So at times when you are taken deep into meditation or through any act and you reach that ex point where you cannot explain what it is happening because what it is happening that time cannot be encompassed into the finiteness of the words. So when it is said it cannot be explained means the experience, the realization is so immense that finite words cannot explain that and that's why you say that I cannot explain anything beyond that to you. That was the moment. And when finally the light dissolved into the existence, everyone present there experienced as if a glow of light emerged from the forehead of Lalaji and disappeared, dissolved into the room. For a moment, everyone was drowned in that moment, a state of total experience of dissolution. And silence continued. The flower that has blossomed, leaving its fragrance, beauty, dissolved once again into the unknown oblivion,